Welcome to Political Woodstock. We're live at the Tulsa State Fair. This is the last day. Been quite busy registering people to vote. Uh, let me go over here. All right, got that open. And I can invite some people. I hope this is not too staticky. Lots of different people at the State Fair, as always. Let's see. Let me go ahead and post this. All right, I got that done. So we're live at the Tulsa State Fair. We've been registering many people to vote. Um, there have been a lot of changes. People converting from the Republican Party to the Democratic Party. We had some first-time voter registrations as they were 18. Let's see. Okay, uh, you hear the casino people in the background wanting to play Plinko. Yes, they're playing Plinko. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. I missed an event. How could that happen? It was a banquet. Oh, my Lord. Bowling banquet. Let's take a look at this. I hope this doesn't cut me off. That looked really nice. Wow. We have a Bruce Goff room in the Equality Center. It's pretty cool. Let me make sure I still have my... I hope I didn't cancel this. Uh-oh. Instagram. I'm afraid I may have canceled. Let's see if it's still live. It's still live. I'm okay. All right. I'll see if I can get Judy's take on stuff. Let's see. I wonder if I could put this around it. Maybe if I just cut this thing off. I can't tear these. I'm going to try to do something with the phone. So if you hear a lot of static. Where is Dabby when I need him? I mean, come on. All right. I have to just put this here. I think we're on the ending hours. It is 7.42. How did it get that late? Oh, well. So, they are inventorying the shirts that we have left over. We have some shirts that say, Vote Democrat. The ass you save may be your own. We have Keep Calm and Vote Democrat. You can get this at Democratic Headquarters. It's on 31st Street, across from the Education Service Center. We also have a shirt that says, OMG, WTF. Oh, wait. It says, OMG, GOP, then WTF. We got some hoodies. We got some t-shirts. You can get your swag on at the Democratic Party, the Tulsa Democratic Party. Well, I really don't have anybody to interview right now. I think I could probably walk down. You know, I may just do that. Let me put my camera bag up, and I'll be right back. Let's see here. What I really want to do is get out there and just talk to people. See what they think of the political climate. Why don't we just go around and ask people what they think of Trump? All right. I got my microphone with me. I can do this. I'm not for sure why I would need that. All right. I got my podcast working. The internet is not that slow. I got my podcast working live right now. What do you think of Trump these days? Oh, no comment. That must mean that she has nothing polite to say. <laughs> what do you think of Trump these days? I think he's misguided. I think he's um, out of touch with most people. And I think he's dishonest. I do not trust him. He is not what I would ever consider to be presidential material. And I'm very disappointed. He was not prepared to be president. That's no, definitely for certain. He wasn't. I Whether like you he's... hate him or you like him, he was not prepared. Now I think that does not speak well of him. Well, I'm going to walk around and ask oh, people what they think of him. 
I would be interested to hear. Okay. So that was a Democrat's view of Trump. I'm just going to walk around and ask. Let's go over here. These people look drunk. This should be fun. Hey, I got a question. What do you, I'm doing a live podcast. What do you think of President Trump? You can say it, it, you can, it can be explicit if it has to be. Do you like President Trump? Hell or? no. <laughs> yes. No. I'm trying to be polite. We're Native American. We hate him. What do you think is his weakest point? Speaking. Yes. Thinking. Tweeting. 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 You don't tweet policy out like that. He shouldn't be talking about anything on tweets. He's a grown man and he's too old to be doing that. Is there any issues in Oklahoma that you're concerned with or federally? Yes. Uh, The pipeline. Which one? The diamond one or? All of them. Diamond Mind is the one that goes from Oklahoma to Arkansas. And, you know, there was a state law that made it a felony if you vandalized anything. And it specifically dealt with pipelines. Right. Well, I heard Trump owns a lot of the pipeline corporations. So, obviously, he's going to benefit from this after he's out of presidency. So, after he gets out, he's going to get a big amount of change from doing all of this. Sure, he's going to get kickbacks like crazy. Yeah. So, we, yeah, we're against him. I like would say the Diamond Pipeline, which is in Oklahoma to Arkansas, mm-hmm. there's people that pulled their funding from it, so it may not happen because people pulled their funding. They don't want to be in the middle of a protest. They did. They also Isn't did that, that good? before, too, but they still went on ahead with oh, it. Oh, man. I feel like they're going to do what I they're going to do. I was hopeful. They're going to do what they're going to do. No matter what you do or say, no matter where you lay down, they're going to do what they're going to do. Well, be careful. Um, the rides are kind of crazy out there, so... All right, thanks. All right, thank you for your time. Political Woodstock's my show. All right, All right. Hey, you missed Rex earlier, Rex Berry. Pardon? I missed everybody earlier. I know, but he's a really good guy. We have uh, one of his, oh, what do you call that, flyers out there. Oh, okay. But he was here, okay. and it was the Medal of Excellence, Medallion of Excellence, because oh, okay. when he got that, Rex Berry is a veteran that's running for Congressional District 1. And when he got that, he was working as a civilian. He was already uh, a vet by that point. Whoa. But he went back and uh, it was in Afghanistan, Whoa. all those things he did. It was amazing. Whoa, good. Well, I'm going to walk around. It's good to, hey, see, good you. to see you. All right. All right. We're going to walk around. Shall we go to the Democrat booth or a Republican? I say Republican. Okay, we're passing the casino. Okay, I can't sing. Sorry. I so cannot sing. Passing the Creek Nation display. They have a lot of artists uh, performing. Man, I don't want to go all the way to the Republican things. You know, they put us on opposite sides of the expo because we get in trouble with each other. I almost bought a massage chair. That's interesting. Oh, look at that. That is really pretty. <laughs> I have ADD right now. I'm just like, oh, I should do the massage chair thing. There's some nice. I don't know if these are used equipment or new. They look new to me. Wow. That would be amazing to have in the home. But we're going to have to do some different things. Are you having fun? I am actually. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm not biting that over there. Let's see. All the, you know, I just don't want to go down there. They were so nasty to me earlier. Why would I want go, go down there? I just, I don't know. Oh, maybe I should just go ride rides. I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do that live, shouldn't I? Let's go on the tilt roll. I, I don't think I can lose the mic that way, right? So, that should be fun. <laughs> it's just too much fun. Oh, boy. Gone by the TPD, the Tulsa Police Department. 
Maybe we should ask some more people about Trump. That's kind of fun to see their faces. They're either totally for him or totally against him. You know, they're mad at people that say bad things about Trump or can't believe Trump is still tweeting. It looks cold out there. Hmm. Sir, I'm doing a live podcast. What do you think of President Trump? Okay, it's just a podcast. See, and some people are scared to say anything. I'm telling you, they're afraid. Well, I'm too afraid to be fearful. Well, he wasn't raised right. I guess they're looking for a lost child. Okay, well, that's another bumper car thing. I can ride as many as I want. We're heading over to the Bud Light tailgate tent. My sock's coming off again. All right. Let's see here. I should have done this earlier this week. Goodness. I really got to fix my sock. You ever have like one of those low socks and they slide off? Let's see who this is. Who's playing? I grew up in Pentecostal church. And my mother could get me there. Do you guys know Go who's playing? Do you know who's playing? I don't know. Okay, okay. I was just curious. That's Jake. Okay, this is Jake. Jake, who's playing? Do you know? I wonder so Life oh, okay, thanks. They're pretty good. What? Michael Hayes. Okay. Sounds good. Then Jesus came like so. Well, they have beers and cowboy hats. And then Dennis. I'm in Tulsa, all right. Oh my God, the lines! I was gonna ride a ride, but oh my God, the lines! Well, it really doesn't look that many people. I'm not gonna do that log ride. Ain't no way. I'll get my phone wet. I can sit down.
squeeze another one in. Or? Is that a yes? We'll squeeze another one in or we done. Alright, he ended it. It's a thumb throw. I think it was a thumb. It was rough. All right, here we go. at the Tulsa State Fair.
Once you'd like a CD, come see me. I got the little car too. Well, I guess their set's done, and I still have no idea who that band was. Somebody told me in there, but it was kind of like a drunken, definitely beer-smelling voice. So, having fun, though. I hope you guys are, too. Let me see if I can get my phone here. I hope it's not static because someone said I may need to get a new cord. I don't know. It's a pretty good mic, though. Wow, I should go get my camera, take some pictures. Maybe it's just because I'm relaxed right now. I'm not hurting, that's good. But the lines are long, I tell you what. I wonder what the tilter world is like. I'm trying to decide which way, I think they're this way. Yeah, my kids aren't really big fans of the Tulsa State Fair, like the lines, and I guess no one is. Still looks pretty lively. It's 8 o'clock in the evening or close to it. So, let me see if I can go back one. Okay. Let's see who's supposed to be at the Oklahoma stage. Trying to see what time it is. It's 8.01. <coughs> they're shutting down early tonight, so maybe they had their... Looks like they're tearing down the... Oh, they are. There's no one going to be playing tonight. We've had some pretty good bands like Jagged Edge, Brett Michaels, and my favorite in this moment, which I went crazy over. Go see my YouTube channel, Political Woodstock. Oh, all the chairs are going, too. They really must be shutting down. Early. No, there's chairs there. Well, I guess it's time to ask people about Trump. What do you think? See, some people are just standing around. Preferably drunk people would be better. Well, that's a long leg for the turkey. It's a long line for the turkey leg. Wow. Wow. I would not. I mean, come on. You can get that at the grocery store. Hello. So, I don't know. I'm getting kind of bored. I can just go down the line, the turkey legs. Hey, I'm doing a podcast. What do you think of President Trump? Do you have any comments on President Trump? <laughs> no? What do you think of his tweets? I call him Grandpa Trump. We do nothing with politics whatsoever. Well, I mean, it's kind of crazy that he tweets at 2 in the morning. I always wondered if he's on the throne when he does this. Do you ever wonder that? Didn't even know he tweeted. Like, literally, we don't. We don't. He put policy out there. He would say things about Kim Jong-un of North Korea on there. It's not typical and not the smartest thing to show our cards, in my opinion. But I don't think he was prepared to be president, so... You know, he should have took a workshop, don't you think? <laughs> I am having fun. I'm doing a podcast, Political Woodstock. What do you think of President Trump? Uh, I think it, with his tweets. Uh, nothing wrong with his tweets. I mean, you know, that's what he wants to do with his time. Instead of doing what he's supposed to be doing, that's fine. Yeah, but he's putting policy out there, and that's fine. I, I, I think he needed a workshop, don't you, to be prepared? Uh, yeah, well, they, I don't think he really wanted a job, but he, he got it. Yeah, I think so, too. I think he was surprised. Wow, well, he was. That was crazy. All right. No one's wanting to speak up against him. I say political Woodstock. You would think they would understand. But that's okay. Oh, they're pulling things down, too. It looks like there are... Maybe it shuts down at 9. I wonder. There's a lot of people here, though. <laughs> Let's ask one of the deputy sheriffs. Boss Hogg's not around. The one that's always trying to arrest me. So. I don't do it. The chat one's there. Hey. Let's see here. 
trying to make it down to the uh, oh what do you call those tilt a whirls I can do a podcast that way hopefully I won't yell too much I hope he's not puking are you okay young man you sure oh where's your mama okay that's good where is she okay there she is I thought he was by himself so okay all right look like a kid t- rode one to me rides oh wow that line's long too I have one of those mega ride wristbands so my youngest and I we would have a great time whoa did he have to really run that way oh my gosh yeah they're in line I should just ask them sir I'm doing a podcast what do you think of President Trump no comment? Okay. The ride that scary ride, but you won't talk about President Trump. Okay. It's fine. A lot of people wearing chains. I guess that's back in fashion, or is it? Aww. People got their babies out without a stroller. The stroller was very helpful. Yeah, I think I'm getting closer to the tilter world. Eight oh six. I gotta go in by nine so I can get my camera bag and take a shuttle back. Tomorrow I get to help break down the Tulsa Democratic booth. Wow. My goodness, it's quieter here. There's lots of deputy sheriffs out here. I'm sure they're getting paid overtime. Of course, we really don't need to have. Let's see. All right. We're at the Tulsa State Fair. It's a little bit crowded over here. You know, having a stroller, you can just push your way through a crowd. So, hey, whoops! People just stop in the middle. Oh, that one's nice. Wow! The Ring of Fire. Have you ever rode the Ring of Fire? You know, I think I may be in the wrong side. It's okay. I think. Boy, that looks scary. Wow, it's busy. It is busy. Whoa, look at that. Is that a double line? Guess you gotta make sure you know which one you're going into. Excuse me. Alright, trying to make it down to the tilt world. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Let's see here. Let's see here. Well, there's the tilt a whirl. Yeah, there's a huge line. I, I really had to go in and get my stuff soon. <laughs> and the carny. Carney's in full effect. Yeah, I don't think they have as many rides as they normally do. Oh, that looks like a long line to me. Maybe it's for the skateboard people. Hi. Is that the tilt a world line? You know what? I'll, I'll just stop here and stand in line. It does go pretty fast. We'll see. Oh, oh, I would never go on that Ferris wheel. I have a big fear of the Ferris wheel. Well, I'm thinking about just asking people what they think of Trump. That would be more fun. A lot of people are on their phone. So. Uh-huh, I am. I'm thinking about leaving, though, so. 
I'm doing a podcast, and I thought it might be fun to do one on a... On a oh, that would be fun. Yeah. What do you I think of President know. Trump? That's my question tonight. Uh, I'd rather not say. No, you can, you can curse. It's okay. I think he needs to get out you of the White House. Design? Yeah, I think he needs to be impeached. I, think so too. I love that drink thing. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you can get one of the... It's like the, 36 bucks, though. It's one of the shorter lines. That one's pretty good. We have rode the skateboard before. Okay. Here, honey. No, honey, it spins on its own. It uses centrifugal force. I'm a homeschool mom. I brought my kid here and we learned about the laws of physics. I did. You can do that even with an office chair. It's kind of fun. This is a pretty good tilt a whirl. They all go pretty fast. Yeah. I would come early and get to ride quite often. My daughter and I, we would start with this one. But she's home right now because there's too many people for her at night. So, my goodness. All this stuff. What do you think of Donald Trump? My thoughts on Donald Trump is that he was not prepared. He should have took a workshop. You know, and maybe America should have thought twice about making him the Republican candidate. You know, I wish Bernie Sanders would have been the Democrat candidate. Over there, if you have it. Do you have Express? Okay. Yeah. I have the Mega Ride wristband. Oh, you can get into the express line with the wristbands, I think. No, not with the Mega Ride one. I don't know about the wristbands. It's like a card you have to carry around your neck. Oh, really? It's $15 extra. Oh, we didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. The last guy led us on the last ride with that express thing. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> it was really crazy busy yesterday. You know, I think I'm going to go inside. i got to get my camera before they close the building. So it's been nice talking with you. Uh-huh. Have a fun ride. You know, I'm doing a podcast right now. What do you think of President Trump? Daddy! <laughs> Nothing? What? I got no comment on that one. Does that, that mean you don't support him? Which is okay with me. Wink, wink. Daddy, I'm a- <laughs> What's she saying? No, I'm not I was supporter. just asking his opinion of President Trump. Oh, I'm just saying <laughs> President Trump to be polite. Most people I talk to are not in favor of him. He's a, he's a, anyway, thank you for your time. Okay, I guess people just don't want to talk. What is wrong with people? Can't they walk and talk? I know they can walk and talk. That's what I'm doing. There goes the tilt a whirl without me on it. That's okay. I'm not going to do bumper cars. I'm sure as hell not going to do the Ferris wheel. What does it mean when you have a big, big fear of the Ferris wheel? I wonder if I just go back. Excuse me. Oh, they're going to push me to go forward. I wonder how far back. I guess I could go down this way. But we got three players now, guys. Okay. All different types of people here. Can I get through this way? No, there's that stupid wall. There's always a stupid wall, and I love what she's wearing. Love your outfit. This is kind of cool. Looks like she made it. He's got a prime lens. Did she, what's she say? An outfit like that? Did outfit she make it? It starts with this. Did she make that outfit? Yeah. They're trying to take a picture of her. They're trying to take a picture of her? Yes! Look, there's a, Here, a photographer. 
<laughs> Did she make that? Yes, yeah, so I was thinking that's that's creative. That would be really good for pride. Just get like the yeah. rainbow colored ones. I'm doing my podcast, so oh, nice. just walking around. Do you ever, have you heard of Spreaker before? Spreaker? Yeah, Spreaker, like speaker, but with an R. Oh. Spreaker. It's really affordable. What do you think of President Trump? Um, you I can don't. Say anything you want on here. He's a little bit egotistical. He's you not. Think? Oh yeah, this is just you think a. Think it's all about him? Oh yeah, it's a notch in his headboard. No, you don't say. I do. Say. <laughs> Are you from Tulsa? I was originally born in Sacramento, California. Oh, wow. But I've been in and out of Oklahoma my whole life. All my family's from you here. you try to run away, did I take it? I've tried to run away a couple and of then times. You keep getting returned I back keep getting home. returned. Yeah. Return the sender every time. I bet it's those Tulsa deputy sheriffs that do it. Yep. They're dirty. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're dirty. <laughs> Boss Hogg tried to arrest me the other night. <laughs> I'm like, really? And he used the Brett, Brett Michaels, uh, what do you say, his name? His sound crew. You gotta stop taking videos. And I looked around. I, they God, always else is taking videos. Police Hello. officers always say that, but it's totally legal to record. Well, no, it. he had the sound guy come up to me. I saw Boss Hogg, the one that we started arresting. Uh huh. Yeah, I talked to the sound guy. Sound guy walks over to me. You gotta stop taking video. I'm like, what? You know. I'm looking around. There's thousands of people with their cameras, all different types. He's got a prime lens. I want a prime lens. See that young boy's nice. He walked around him. Oh yeah. Some people have been. Some people have. So what is she doing this for? Well, she made that, and uh, she's an artist. Or yeah, she's oh, mul- cool. she's multi-talented. If you have Instagram, you can check out her Instagram. If I go to Instagram, I lose my address. Oh, no. Is it live? Yeah, it's live right now. Wow, that's awesome. So, I mean, it's cool. I can do a three-hour podcast, one hour, and it uploads to YouTube immediately. It's $20 a month. Oh, that's awesome. Their cheapest is $4.99 for a 45-minute. That's good. So, is she from Tulsa, or? Uh, she's just still water. Still water. I like that idea. She should t- stick her hip out. No, I'm serious. It'd be a better picture. Talk to you later. What do you guys think of President Trump? I'm doing a law podcast. Huh? What? President Trump, what do you think of him? Fuck you. <laughs> no, you can talk that way. I'm that nigga. That's what I like yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like Trump. I feel like Trump is not really an actual good president. I feel like he's fucking up shit. Well, forget president, human being. Right, right. He a fucked up person, individual, period. That's how I feel. Agree. (laughs) Well, at least I got someone to say what they wanted to. I keep on hitting uh, my keyboard. All right. Well, it smells really good over here. And oh my god, there's lines everywhere. I wonder if I can cut through here. I think I can. And avoid the... Trying to go through all the people. Hopefully there's not another wall over there. Trump and his walls. Excuse me. People working hard. People working hard at getting drunk. Let's see. And if it's staticky, can you let me know in the comments? I would appreciate it. Oh, I guess I get to go by the Republicans now. Oh, boy. Life is good. Woo! Look at that ride. It's one of those drop you from a high, high. Wow. That's cool. Let's see. Do I... I'm going to go up this way. I'll go by the carnies. No one's there, right? Boy, that one sounds like a man. Are you kidding me? All right. You're walking with Angela at the Tulsa State Fair. Political Woodstock, you know? Political Woodstock baby. Where every voice has value. 
<laughs> Some of these carnies are funny. Let's see if I can get through. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. And when I want to slow down, I ask them about, oh my gosh, that was loud. Trump. All right. Excuse me. Whew. Let me fix my shirt. It's nice outside. It's not too cold. And it's like the perfect. Hey, what do you think about President Trump? Excuse me? What do you think of President Trump? <laughs> I think he sucks. Amen. Okay. I found someone else that thinks like me. But you got to respect the office. And that I do. Oh, no. Let's see here. Let's see here. Thank you guys. Like, that lady was just aiming for me. Can't you see I'm a slow-moving older woman? I wonder what that is. Oh, excuse me. See, I'll move out of the way. We're by one of those fun houses. Boy, they have their hands full. It is loud over here. There's a Himalaya. That would be too loud. My goodness. All right. I'm trying to make it into the entry to the building. It's got to be up here soon. Passing the Starship 4000. That's the, you know, where the panels go up in the air. And it feels like you're a little bit airborne. Centrical force for that one. Okay. I think I found a way through. Please, please, please. Yeah. All right. I'm not close enough to the Republicans. Boy, it's really busy for a Sunday night. We had two days of rain. One day where there weren't any rides at all. And it poured down rain. I like walking downhill. Whoa, that's crazy. That's amazing. I just could not do that, though. I was looking at a ride that just... The thought of going to it. Let's see here. It smells good in here. Really, really good. But my cooking is better. Tell you what. Alright. So I'm still alive. I'm <laughs> going up this major ramp. I'm inside the Expo Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You'll notice that the sound has gone down. When I get back to the Democratic booth, I'll probably end this podcast. Because this does take data. So, it's been fun. I swear, you know, life gets stranger and stranger as we go along. Let's see. I wonder what this hair thing is over here. Let's see here. I really like that piece. It's a piece of art. Let's see. I'm trying to look for people I can ask that are kind of walking slower. Maybe they've stopped. Just as long as they don't have kids. I see a table I can sit down at. I'm sure there's some opinionated people there. You know what I want to do? I want to go listen to some good blues. That is a pretty dress. Oh, I gotta sit down. Oh, he's going to take my seat. Oh, well. Little young boy. 
wants to sit by his family, I guess. What? These are humidor, humididu? It's a humidifier that smells like eucalyptus. It's nice. Thank you. Let's see. I like that one better. It smells like peppermint. I prefer peppermint over eucalyptus. We're by the Ford exhibit. The future of tough. Built Ford tough. I guess they just talked to Evan. They came back from the Democrat meeting. I recognize those people. <laughs> I am having fun though. This is the last day. Yahoo! I have gotten a lot of steps in. I will say that. Excuse me. Okay. Paddle cake. Oh, those look good. Funnel cake parfait. See, I could do a whole show on this. Did you guys have a lot of people stop by? I bet. Mhm. Mm do you guys have any job openings at Fox? You know, I don't know. Well, we have some Pardon? specific stuff in the newsroom for like reporters and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I document all I do, so. Nothing general. So you're always welcome to stop by the front desk. Okay. Pull out an app. Well, I can do that. I know Crystal. Crystal and I are good friends. You know, she's a story assigner editor, so. Oh. She's cool. Cool being. She likes that group, the Rumor. You probably heard her talk about the group, the Rumor. She's a big fan of them. So it's good to see y'all. All right. Did you guys get some of the jalapeno ones sold? The corn dog? Yeah. You have an abundance of them. I sent some people down. I was just wondering. Awesome. Yeah, people have been coming by and getting some. That's good. Thank you. All right. Freddy's is a good place to go to. They're local to Tulsa. And when they're at the fair... They're really good. That looks really old. I know those have been there for hours. I'm not being picky. I mean, I'm just being real. So. <laughs> they could donate, you know. All right. Well, we're getting close to the Democratic booth. And I am going to end this podcast. If you came to fair, I hope you had a great time. I know I did. I will talk to you later might do another podcast really late tonight because I got some thoughts on what Grandpa is tweeting these days. I call it Grandpa Tweets. It's crazy. Actually, I kind of stole that idea from a friend. So if you're listening, it's all good. Hey, doing a podcast. What do you think of Grandpa tweeting President Trump? Good guy. Um, he's very. He's highly opinionated. He just needs to uh, filter out some of the things that he says. Even though what he says has a lot of sense to it, the way he delivers it, it just rubs people the wrong way. Yeah, but uh, he has balls. That's what I got to say. He's, he does... Yeah. That's what he is. He's like the poster boy for narcissism. Exactly. That's just my opinion. I understand. Do you know when the building shuts down? Uh, the building shuts down at 9. Okay, so I got to get my camera. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll be in contact. All right, sweetie. All right. Yeah, why is it that some people just want to touch my hair? I, I, I don't get it. My hair is not that great anymore. I think I see Christy around here. Is there another um, charger back there? I left my charger to charge up the pad, the Kindle. It's a white one with a white cord. It would have been right here. Maybe it's in the booth. Yes. We had charged up the Kindle with that because we couldn't find the charger. And I left it just in case. All right. Well, that's the end of my podcast. Let me see. Let me go back here. Got to go back one more. Thank you for listening to another edition of Political Woodstock.